gratitude. Gratitude is first of all from the positioning of your heart, the way you receive and the way you express joy for little. The way you express joy for little. There are people that have done things for you, that have done things for you in the past and in the present. You see, God is not a man. He will check your reactions to those things. One problem we have today is the benefit mentality. Once people think you have something and they feel they are qualified for it. And you now give them below it. Is a problem. Gratitude. Very essential. It's what will keep you in the favor with man and with God. Let me tell you that when God wants to begin to bless you, God will never start blessing you with abundance. Is somebody hearing that? When God wants to start blessing you, He will not start blessing you with abundance, He will start with trickles. Trickles. One of the first things God will start doing is that He will be meeting your need. He will be meeting what? Your need. Once He leaves the realm of meeting your need, He will start giving you things that are beyond your needs. Though it may not be much, but it will be beyond your needs. Then you will be having savings. If you remain in gratitude, God will also increase it to another level. And that is how God will move you from lack into plenty. That is how God will move you from lack into plenty. But when there is no gratitude, the last time your husband gave you money, you fought. He gave you, a, you fought because it is not enough. It can never be enough. Gratitude has disqualified many people from receiving from the person that God has planted around them. From receiving from the person that God has instructed to be there for them in time of needs. Gratitude. Missing. Now somebody will offend you, you will never remember the good he has even done. Is a spirit of a devourer. Is a spirit of someone with a benefit mentality. You would never say, ah, even if it is for what he has done. Let me just overlook. And many times, this is where many children of God are grounded. There are. It is not everybody you can replace in life. I want you to remind your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you can't replace everybody. So when you tell yourself, I beg, not let him be man of God, you don't know how many man of devil are waiting for you. <laughs> I beg! God, if he doesn't do it, God will do it. When was the last day you saw God? Hello? Wait, wait, when was the last day you saw God? Don't think you can replace every man. You can't replace everybody. There are people that when you lose them, 10 years time, you will still be talking story. Ah, if to say, if to say, you will still, why has God not replaced them? Because God did not change them, you changed them. God did not change them, you changed them. God did not cause you to lose them, you lost them. And let me tell you, those kind of people, prayer don't bring them back. It is character that will bring them back. So the humility you fail to have, go and have double back. Oh, somebody is not happy now. Somebody is not happy now. The humility you didn't have, then go and give them double. So prayer may not bring them back. It's character that will bring them back. The protocol of favor. You must be gracious. In little, 
In much, you must be gracious. People are afraid to give because of their experiences. But nobody is afraid to give a man who is gracious. Say, so for this little, it thanked me like this. For this little, you are able to keep what God has given you. You must know what to do to remain in favor. Remind your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you must know what to do to remain in favor. Remind your neighbor something else. Say, neighbor, your labor is for food. It is favor that make men. 